German investor confidence rose for a fifth month in December to the highest level in more than seven years, adding to signs that the recovery in Europe's largest economy is strengthening. Joining me down the line to discuss is Ulrike Rondorf. Ulrike, the ZEW said its index of investor and analyst expectations jumped to 62 from 54.6. Bloomberg's median was for an increase of just 55.0. Now, German industrial production didn't fare so well, so not all recent data has been in support of a recovery. Therefore, is this optimism warranted, especially given further economic evidence of a two-speed eurozone and subsequent potential headwinds? Um, no, potentially the, the poll financial market analysts are too optimistic. The said the W had a roller coaster ride in the last three years, so I prefer to focus on the PMI and the IFO service of business leaders that also had quite a run in the recent months, but are still below the highs of 2011. They indicate an upswing and also that the economy is accelerating somewhat. The latest hard data, such as the production you mentioned, argue, however, for a notable acceleration only at the start of 2014 and possibly not at Q4. Last month, the EC announced that it would examine whether Germany's current account surplus could lead to a reduction in economic growth in the euro area. Now, what do you make of the suggestion that if Germans do not review their model, the integrity of the euro area may be difficult to maintain? I believe that the German current account surplus is not a danger for the eurozone, especially as the current account surplus of Germany versus the rest of the eurozone has declined significantly over the last two years, and this convergence of the current account balances in general in the Eurozone reflect basically a convergence of the unit labour costs, i.e. the competitiveness. You see that Spain, for instance, has regained all this competitiveness that they lost in the previous years, and now shows also declining current account deficits, and I believe that it's um, not an issue going forward, and the EU Commission probably has less ground in the years to come to focus on this um, imbalance in Germany. Today was significant as Angela Merkel is sworn in for her third term as German Chancellor, ending almost three months of negotiations. The coalition agreement includes a national minimum wage and spending on pensions and infrastructure without raising taxes. Does this add to a bullish or bearish outlook for the German economy moving forward? I would think that certainly uh, it's a bearish outlook in the long run due to the fact that uh, Germany is in danger of losing its rather strong position and also its position as a role model for the Eurozone. The government moves further in a direction of more regulation, looking here at the labour market changes um, with regard to the minimum wage, but also with regard to flexibility, using, using temporary workers. And also with regard to social security, we see a trend to, to more government, basically. And this is um, a trend that we already saw um, under the old government, but this is now accelerated and um, will, in the long term, in my view, lead to um, a decline of competitiveness in, in Germany with higher unit labour costs are rising above the EU um, average and, uh, and then of course in danger also the outperformance with regard to growth. In the short term I think it, the impacts are limited in the f next two or three years we do not see any major impact with regard to growth maybe even on the positive side as the uh, disposable income might rise further if we see the uh, continued strong wage increases in Germany. The resilience of the euro has served to make life difficult in the bloc, particularly for the periphery. According to some, the Fed seems set to do less than the ECB, but in a more supportive manner. With this in mind, how do you see the euro dollar performing into 2014? We believe that finally the euro dollar should weaken um, and supporting the upswing in the eurozone. The ECB will try hard, in my view, to decouple from the Fed and pump more liquidity into the money market in the end. And I think that's now pushing the euro currently to higher levels because the liquidity in the eurozone is declining in contrast to the liquidity in the United States. And um, I think the ECB is ready to act here and uh, make sure that 
it uh, ensures that the liquidity stays high, or excess liquidity stays high in the eurozone money markets and keeps yields and interest rates low in the money market in contrast to the US and this would then finally support the dollar versus the euro. Ulrika, thank you for your perspectives today. Well, viewers, that's all from Ulrika and myself for the moment. The all-important FOMC meeting is underway and Dara McDermott will be back with a preview of that. So please do keep clicking back to Dukoscopy TV. Goodbye.